Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to study the differential equations. Differential equations expresses a relationship among the variables and their derivatives. So the, in this situation, function y, y is a function of x. And the x, y, y dash, y2 dash is related in the single equation. Example the y dash equal x. So in this case you could find out the highest order of derivatives. In the first case is a y dash is a just first order. We call it this is a first order differential equation. In the second case, highest order derivative is a second derivatives. So we call it this is second order differential equations. Most of the case differential equation is too difficult to solve but some simple case we could solve the differential equations so we are going to study the such a simple case first simple case is the separable equations separable differential equation is written as follows derivative of y with respect to x is expressed the product of the two functions function of x alone and the function of y alone, the product. So to solve the, this equation, you, you just collect the, only the y term in the left hand side. And the right hand side and the terms related the x terms. So divided by g y and multiply dx in the equations and then perform the integrals of the both sides of the equations. Then we could solve the differential equation. This is a useful method to solve the differential equation, separable differential equations. Often we use a, a derivative of the exponential function and the logarithmic functions. So we are going to study the derivative of the logarithmic function first. Napier's number of e is defined. If you remember, n is go to the infinities 1 plus 1 over n and the power index is n so this we studied this is definitions of the Napier's numbers so actually this equation is exactly same with the next definition this equation looks like a so similar if you choose n equal 1 over h but in the case of the n, is are integers. So it's better to prove that this uh, equation is exactly the same with uh, this one. So depending on the uh, sign of h, there are two possibilities if you choose, uh, choose the h equal 1 over x. When the x is positive, x is positive or x is negative. In the case of the x is positive, x is approaching the positive infinities equal 1 plus 1 over x over power index is x. When the x is negative, 1 plus 1 over x and the power index is x. So we have to prove that these two situations. In this explanation, I just only explained this case. Then once you understand the first case, maybe you don't have so much problem to prove the second case. Then we consider that x is uh, between the two integers, n and n plus 1. From the, this equation, 1 over n plus 1 is smaller than 1 over x. And 1 over x is smaller than 1 over n. Because n is the uh, smallest value, so 1 over n becomes the largest. And if you add the plus 1 in the both sides, so 1 plus, 1 plus, 1 plus. You will get this, this equation. And then you can make a n's power. This is n's. This is x. Last one is n plus 1's. Power index n plus 1. So these equations can be expressed the next line. This is exactly the same with uh, these equations. Because, uh, because of the power index n. 
if you change the power index of n plus ones, then this becomes 1 plus 1 over n plus ones. And the middle part doesn't change. And the right hand side, this times this one, because the power index is uh, n plus ones. And then, then we use a uh, uh, definition of E. Definition of E. So this equation. And the 1 plus 1 over n, then the power index n is approaching the E. So if you look at uh, these equations, this part is approaching to the E. This is approaching to the E. And this part is, uh, if the n is go to the infinity, this part is 1. This is also go to the 1. So left hand side and right hand side is approaching to the E. The middle part have to approach the E. We successfully prove the, this equation. In the case of the x is positive. Also, we can easily prove that also x is negative case. Then we combine to the, we prove the, this situation. E equal the limit 1 over 1 plus h and the power index 1 over h. And if the h is limit approaching the 0, it's approach the E. Okay, this is a very useful equation to find the derivative of the logarithmic functions. Again, we use a definition of the derivatives. d by dx is expressed limit delta x is approaching the 0. y x plus delta x minus y x over delta x. So we consider the derivative of the logarithmic functions. So this becomes y x plus delta x. This is y x from the, this equation. From the first to the second lines, we use uh, these formulas. x sub 1 minus log x sub 2 is log x sub 1, x sub 2. So we combine the, this equation. Then this part becomes 1 plus delta x over x. Then this is a little bit tricky. We multiply x and divide the x. So this becomes actually 1. So 1 is expressed uh, x over x. Then next line from the here to the here. We use uh, these formulas. Log a log x is expressed log x to the a. So now we consider the, this x over delta x is corresponding to the a. So we move to the up to the here. So now we can move to the next line. Then actually we change the h is delta x over x. So this part Actually, it's h. This is going to be 1 over h. So we use this formula. We have proved. So this part is approaching to the e. So log e. So it becomes log e. And the log e is uh, actually it becomes 1. So it becomes 1 over x. So derivative of the log natural log function, log x, with respect to x, becomes 1 over x.